Uh, so this is a little little video just to show you how I've mounted my Cat Eye Vault 800, which some of you may not have seen, may have seen. So basically, I've got an Ortlieb handlebar bag, so obviously I couldn't fit the light because it takes up the whole bar space. So I found this mount online, which is, if you can see that, it's just like a little hand through there. So you just undo your brakes there, and then just, uh, there was a spacer in there, I took that out, and then uh, basically put this bar in, then I had to just basically want it in, just bend it up a little bit to move it away from the brakes. You can see there it doesn't uh, doesn't hit. And then the light just clips on like that. And then wherever my wherever I uh, turn my wheel, the light goes. And then that sits underneath the bar and it's fine. It has been worrying me a little bit though is just that if this clip kind of comes out it might just fall so um, what I was thinking of doing is either getting a uh, elastic band or a couple of them and then just roll it like wrapping it around the top here so it fits in between this little lever so the lever can't be pressed and then if the lever can't be pressed then it won't come out so that's all it was just a really short video mainly for anyone who's got a cat eye volt 800 or volt 700 or volt 300 um, I think they all use the same mount that if you are struggling for handlebar space, now you might be thinking also, is that how secure is that? I on my particular bike, I've got enough threads at the back so it's secure. I've ridden about 10 to 15 miles with it. I've been obviously being really cautious when I first uh, was out on descents and stuff, but it seems absolutely fine. Okay, so there's there's a few things that I want to quickly add to the video. Um, one, the light hasn't fallen off yet, which is fine. You can always put the elastic band around the top of the bracket so that the lever can't be pressed. That works a treat. Um, safety wise, the bracket hasn't come undone. The brakes are just as tight as they were when I first installed it, so that's no problem there. But obviously, always just check your brakes regularly anyway, so it's just common sense. The other thing to, to know is to, when you're mounting it, make sure you mount it with the light facing down slightly, just so it's a bit more bearable for other people on the road, be it pedestrians, other cyclists, or car users. Also, where the uh, charging, there's a bung that um, covers the charging port, just make sure that that is fully done up and like kind of pressed in. Just because if you haven't got mud guards, you probably will get quite a lot of um, water on the light, which should be fine because the light is water resistant, but it's something worth considering. If you've got mud guards, then you probably won't have any problem at all. It'll be the same as if it's mounted on your bar. I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can get this bracket for yourself. Um, that's about it. So uh, thanks for watching, hope you found this helpful, if you did please do leave a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one, bye.